This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Today I have come up with a quick update on Selenium 4 Alpha version. Uh, today I'm going to cover one very small topic that is very interesting and uh, good to know about Selenium 4. As per my prediction, Selenium 4 will be there in next year, June 2020, maybe after uh, Bangalore Selenium conference in June 2020, next year. But Selenium 4 Alpha version is already there in the market and I can, okay. You can see that I'm using this particular uh, Selenium uh, 4.0 Alpha 1 in my dependency. So you can get this dependency from the Maven. Officially, they haven't announced on their official page but you can take Selenium Java 4.0.0 Alpha 1 version from Maven repository. So you just go to Google and then simply write Selenium Alpha Maven. You go to this particular first link and the, let me get the first thing. It's Alpha 3 is available. So the latest one is let's see Alpha 3 and copy this and I'll upgrade my dependency over here with Selenium Alpha. Okay, so this is still is in Alpha mode in testing mode but there are some really good features are available they have added some new locators and everything but today uh, i'm planning to cover one very small topic that is how to take screenshot for a specific web element so far we have seen in selenium we can take the screenshot for the entire page but they have added in selenium 4 you can take the screenshot for a specific web element also so how to do that so I have already added web driver manager dependency and uh, Selenium Java dependency with 4.0 alpha 3. Now I'll create a separate uh, class under my project. So let's see my uh, class name is that take element screenshot. Okay. Select the main method, click on finish and I quickly launch my Google Chrome and then I will set up my web driver through web driver manager through Bonnie Gracia dot chrome driver dot setup and then I'll be using web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver everything will remain same how to launch the browser how to create the web element everything will remain same guys if you are upgrading to selenium 4 95 percent things are same so don't worry about that your code is not going to change and then I'll be using driver.get. You can pick any application. So let's see, I'll be picking one application. Uh, let's see, app.hubspot.com login. Okay. So let me launch this URL. And what we will do that uh, we will take three screenshots. One is for email ID, password, and login. Right. So what I'll do that uh, first quickly, we will inspect this particular guy. Let me remove this username and password from here. And uh, you just inspect it, you will see that ID is available. So, ID username. So, I'll quickly create three web elements. So, web element, let's say this is my email ID, is equal to element by dot ID, ID is this, right? Import this web element, and then I'll create two more elements. One is for password. And the last one is for the login button, right? For password, ID is password. I've already seen that. And for uh, login button, let me quickly check for login button. Its ID is login BTN. So this, right? So three web elements, very simple, <coughs> normal standard way I have created. Now, how will you take the screenshot? Now, this is something interesting, guys. They have... Uh, I'll do one thing that uh, I'll be writing some implicitly weird also. Driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly wait of 20 seconds. So time unit dot seconds. So that for every element, it's going to wait for 20 seconds. Okay, now how to take the screenshot? So to take the screenshot, let's say I'm going to take the screenshot for this particular web element. So earlier we have seen you can take the screenshot for entire page with get a screenshot as method is there and uh, you have to type cast to take, take a screenshot and then uh, with the help of uh, that method you can take the screenshot but for web element you just need to write email okay guys email dot 
one method is there they have recently added email dot get screenshot as method is there can you see that so on the web element level you can call this particular method get a screenshot as and what is your output type so my output type is uh, simple right output sorry output type dot file so output type is my file and then this get a screenshot method is it will return a file okay it will return a file class object reference so what i'll do i'll store inside the file let me source file or something like this All right and then you import this particular file from here let's see source file or whatever name you want to give src file or whatever and then what we need to do you need to use this class same class file utils dot copy file method is there and what is your source file this is my source file that we've already captured and what is a destination file that where exactly you want to store your web element screenshot so i want to store let's see somewhere under my project so under my project this is a target folder under this target folder i want to create screenshot i want to store my screenshot under target folder so i'll do one thing this is my project directory target and uh, create one uh, screenshots folder at the runtime and then give the file name so my file name is let's see email dot png or jpg whatever you want to give you can give it and uh, this is the thing and you have to use with new file object you have to pass it like this okay the file location path you have to pass it like this okay and then this line will give you to add throws declaration or surround with track edge block so let's see i'll add throws declaration over here and once this is done i want to quit my browser so driver.quit so let's see for email id field for this particular field is actually creating the screenshot or not so let's see so my browser is getting launched and uh, it's gonna wait until the login page is displayed or not and once this is done it is done then let me terminate my program and i'll do one thing i just refresh my project and after refreshing the project, you can see a screenshot folder got created under my target folder. You open it and you will see email.png and let's see. Can you see that? A text field screenshot is there and you can compare. See, this is the screenshot I'm talking about, this email, not this uh, label, I'm talking about this text field, right? So now we will, you can see that exactly same. Isn't it amazing, right? This is something really cool for the specific screenshot. Now you can, for the specific element, you can take the screenshot. Now what I'll do that, uh, oops, sorry. What I'll do then, I'll do the same thing for other guys as well. So I'll create a generic method, okay? Or I'll do one thing. I'll create a generic method for this so that we can call that method again and again. So public void take element screenshot method i'll create and uh, this particular code okay guys i'll cut it from here and then i'll paste it over here in the generic utility and i'll make it a static so that i can call it directly and what we need to do we just need to pass the web element that what is your element and uh, we need to pass your string file name what exactly your file name dot png or whatever and this element i'll apply that get a screenshot as method to make it generic i'll write it like this and uh, this is the file name dot png that i'll do one thing this is then plus okay this file name whatever the file name that you are passing plus appended with dot png okay and uh, surround with try catch block for error handling so a generic utility got created and it will take the screenshot now what i'll do i simply call this particular method three times so what is your element my element is 
email what is a file name my file name is let's see email right and uh, let's take a screenshot method what we are doing one second it's email let's see email email email, email element okay this is the thing that let's see i'll pass and then uh, in double quotes okay then i'll call this method two more times one is for email one is for password and one is for login button okay so let's see this is my password element.png and login button element.png now let's see three screenshots it should take and let's see what happens okay let's see what happens so it's launching the browser entering the url and uh, it's gonna wait three times it got flashed and the program is done browser is closed and then let's see i'll refresh my project and under this you can see three screenshots are there email.png fine login button.png you can see that see login button is also there and the password.png also is there right guys so you can see that uh, three okay this is email.png password and login button three screenshots it took right so first time why this login button is not it's not coming in red color so don't be confused right now it's in black color so if you it's in red color first time it's like this the moment it launches the application first time it's like this if you want to take with color so the moment you enter the username password then only it's becoming a red color then it will take the red color the screenshot okay so that uh, you need to enter the some username password over there so i'll do one thing i quickly enter the username password before taking the screenshot so email dot send keys so let's see i'm passing <coughs> naveen at the rate gmail.com and uh, password dot sorry password dot send keys test at the rate one two three so once it is entering the username password then we will take the screenshot okay so let's run it again and then let's see So now this is getting launched. It's waiting for the this and uh, fine, fine. And let's see once again. Email element, perfect. Fine. Now you can see that after entering the value, Naveen at the rate gmail.com, it's taking the screenshot. This is something really cool, guys. I really liked it. And password element also. This is the password. Obviously, it's coming in the asterisk format and dotted format. And the login button also, it's coming in red color. Right, perfectly fine. So this is really cool, right, guys? And uh, you can take the screenshot for these right as well. In fact, you can take the screenshot for links also, because links also available in the form of web element. So quickly, I'll show you. Uh, let's see for uh, any link is there or not. Let's see for. Okay, let's see for this forgot password. So we will create. Okay, so we will create by dot link text for the forgot password. Okay, so I'll do one thing that I'll create one more web element. Web element for forgot password is equal to driver dot find element by dot link text is this, and then we will take the screenshot for this guy also. So forgot password, I'll call this particular method once again. So that's why I like this is a this is a good thing that we have already created a utility just to take the screenshot and we just take the screenshot for forgot password link as well so and this is forgot password link.png file i'll be passing then let's run it again <coughs> let's see this time it should create four <coughs> screenshots and the previous screenshot will be overridden by the new screenshots okay so let's see for uh, it's happening or not so i'll refresh this target folder once again 
or you can refresh your browser also. So forgot password link. Perfect. You can see that. Forgot password link. Right. See. Right, guys. So that's all for this particular video, guys. If you really want to refer this, <clears throat> I'll be starting a new series on uh, on this Selenium four. Different different features. Small small features are there. What other new different things are there in Selenium four? We can we will cover those things. Okay. Next time <clears throat> there are some. Uh, relative neighbor uh, XPath and locators also they introduced. So maybe I can create one more video. I have already done my POC. So that also video will be there very soon. So you guys, please refer and practice accordingly. And then don't use Selenium 4 as of now in your current projects. But for practice point of view, you guys can start working on it. Okay. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you really like this video. If you really like it, please subscribe to the channel, guys. And please click on the bell icon is there so that any new video is there immediately you will be notified about that thank you so much guys and thanks for watching this video